if um, you want a webinar recording, a recording of this webinar, you can email me at my address there, Ben and Internachi. If you want the slides of the presentation, um, you don't have to write any notes down, you can email me. If you have any questions later on, like tomorrow, you think of a great question, um, or you're in the middle of a home energy report, generating a home energy report for a client it's not going well, you can always email me. So a lot of people are logging on. Okay, so there's basically two ways to um, increase your inspection fees. One is you, in, you include a free home energy report with every home inspection and thereby add incredible value to your home inspection service, um, gain a competitive advantage over your competitors, and use that as a way to increase your home inspection fee. Or you list it on your website and then on your services and your marketing as a standalone ancillary inspection and you sell it. You sell it for $45. An extra $45 per inspection is pretty good. Well, I want to go over what I did as an inspector. I don't know if you know, but I, I owned and operated a home inspection company in Pennsylvania. I've done thousands of inspections. Over 13 years, I was a home inspector. And what I did was I supported the core service of our company, which was doing home inspections, right? We charged a minimum $396 to do a home inspection. And we got that high in that area, that, that's a pretty high price, because we added stuff to the home inspection fee, right? We were able to increase our fees by adding free stuff. So this is a picture of an infrared camera. I bought a, a B cam, a FLIR B cam SD camera, and I um, included um, infrared pictures in my home inspection report. And after a while, um, a lot of people hired me because they knew that I was the home inspector who did that infrared camera stuff. It was very impressive. The perceived value by my clients of that thermography inspection scan during my regular home inspection was much greater than the cost of doing those pictures in my report. I also included a video of the roof inspection at least. If I could, I'd I'd do a video of the entire inspection. So I would carry a tool belt, wear a tool belt, two pockets. The right pocket had a camera for pictures. I clicked hundreds of pictures. And the left had a, a, a same camera, but set on video. And I shot a video of the inspection as I did the inspection. And then I burned that to a DVD. Nowadays, I would do it on a USB. And I would give that as a free service, right? That supported my inspection service. So I was able to add value and then increase my fee just a little bit more. Every time I added value to my inspection service, I bumped up the fee. I also included a free home energy book, uh, a free home maintenance book, sorry, a free home maintenance book. Um, this is the Internachi's home maintenance book. It, you can get it for less than three bucks per and of any quantity. And I would include that as well because the perceived value by my client of the home maintenance book, a 100 page home maintenance book, it was really nice, bound in a nice binder, um, was greater than the cost of doing it. So for every added value, I increased my inspection fee. And that's one of the ways um, that you could increase your inspection fee, right? Add value. So one of the rules in in business, in this business, is if the perceived value is greater than the cost, it's a good business decision. And what is the perceived value of doing a free home energy report with every home en home inspection? Well, on average, every home energy report will make recommendations for your client that will help your client save about $500, 500 to $1,000 really, every year. So the perceived value is saving your client $500. They'll have an extra $500 every year because they hired you who produced a home energy report for them and made recommendations. That's the value. The cost of doing a home energy report, well, it only takes about three minutes to do a home energy report, and it costs you nothing. So it's a pretty good business decision.
In fact, it's probably the best ancillary inspection you could offer to your clients. If you're going to offer any other ancillary service, stop and offer this one first because take, for example, radon. For a radon test, you need to take two trips and you've got fees, some certification and licensing in some states, some insurance. You have those kits and there's lab fees. You have to do a QA program and recalibration. And there's mailing costs if you're shipping out some charcoal canisters back and forth. The two trips really kills you. With the home energy report, there's very little cost and an enormous value, perceived value. So let's start a home energy report. Let's go through a home energy report generation. And you go to that URL at the bottom of the page, natchi.org slash home hyphen energy hyphen inspection, home energy inspection, natchi.org home energy inspection. So let's go there, natchi.org slash home energy inspection. And this is the page. So there it is, home energy inspection. I don't know if you can see that. And you click that big graphic to start a home energy report. And it goes to the tool. And it goes into your account. So with a couple clicks of the button, you're inside the tool that generates the report. And I'll start the clock. It'll probably take me a little bit more than three minutes because I'll be talking along the way. Um, all of your previous reports are stored in your account forever, as long as you're a member of InterNACHI, and I have many, many reports generated. Down here, the first thing you do is enter the zip code of the property that your client is thinking of purchasing. So 80301 is um, Boulder. So I start the report. Click that blue button that says start the report. It sends that zip code to the energy calculator. Uh, the Department of Energy has a laboratory, um, National Berkeley Laboratory, and they have a bunch of scientists there that crunch numbers, and they've developed a, a calculator, and InterNACHI has access to that calculator through this reporting tool. Um, so it sends that zip code to that energy calculator and populates a checklist, an online checklist. And now we're going to enter about 40 pieces of data that I already collected during my home inspection report, home inspection. So I've done a home inspection, I went back to the office, I wrote my home inspection report, and now I'm gonna do a home energy report for that same client. So my name, my client's name, my client's email, my client's phone number, uh, the property address, 123 Main Street. It's in Boulder, state of Colorado. It was built 1974, that's the default that the tool did, but I know it was 1985. Um, my clients moving in have three children, and they are this age. One's real small, um, four years old, and two of them are between six and 13, two adults. And let's just for fun, let's say there's an in-law moving in. So that's six people moving in. This report and this data that you're entering, this report is customized to your client about to move into the home. We really don't care about the utility bills of the current occupant or seller of the property. We don't care if it's um, a two person family living in the home currently. Doesn't, I don't care about. It. What I care about is providing information that no one else has about this home that's customized to the client, my client, the home buyer about to move in. And that's what I'm doing. I'm generating a report that's customizable to them. And this is information that no one on the planet has, only you do, and you're gonna provide it for your client. That's great value. And the whole, whole idea is, does your client know how much this home costs to heat, cool, and operate? They know how much it costs, right? Quarter million dollar home, the principal interest, taxes and insurance, they understand that stuff. But do they know how much the heating bills are gonna be, the cooling bills, the lighting, how much the hot water costs? the monthly bills, the annual estimated bills. That's what this tool does. That's the information, that's the value of the information that you are providing with the home energy report within less than three minutes. Uh, I'm already at three minutes because I'm talking too much. Energy prices, 
that's defaulted. Uh, the house faces south. Um, it has two, two stories above ground. It's 2,300 square feet. It has an unconditioned basement. It has about 100 lights in the home. Um, none of them are energy efficient light bulbs. Um, the attic is not very well insulated, about two to three inches of insulation. The walls are insulated well enough, R11, front, back, left, right walls. Airtightness, is the home reasonably airtight? Has it gone within the past two years under um, weatherization? Has there been an energy audit with a blower door and then they get contractors and they seal up the air leaks and they go in the attic, add insulation, and replace all the windows and all that stuff? Is it airtight or is it kind of like original construction built 20 years ago? It's probably leaky, right? So is this home reasonably airtight? No, it's leaky. Um, skylights, uh, we're, we're counting the square footage of windows because they bleed air uh, energy. And on the left side, there's 50 square feet. And on the right side, again, there are 50 square feet. And the drop-down menus are pretty large. You can pick your windows there. Does the house have a closed washer? Yes. Is it Energy Star? No. It's um, a closed dryer, electric closed dryer. There's one refrigerator in the home. It's not Energy Star. Water heater was built in 2002. It's natural gas. It's 50 gallons. Thermostat is standard. Um, central gas furnace, the year purchase was 2002. Um, how much of the home is, how much of the home's heat is supplied by a wood burning stove? Um, it goes all the way up to hundred if there's a wood burning stove. Um, I'm from Colorado, so a lot of homes in the mountains have wood burning stoves. Um, central air, a year purchase through 2002. Um, the duct location, I see them in the unconditioned basement. Are they insulated? No. Are they sealed? No. Are, there's no boiler pipe. There's no house fan. There's no pool. There's no spa. So I generate a report down there, bottom left button. A lot of you missed that. Click that button. Sends all that information to the energy calculator member at the laboratory at the DOE, and it's crunching the numbers. And it's producing a report for you. Not only that, it's generating the report for you. It's generating the recommendations. You don't even write the report. That's why it only takes you a few minutes, not like me, up to six minutes now to generate a report. It'll take you three minutes to generate a report. You enter the data and you click a button and it generates a report for you. And what it does, it's an online report so that you can email that report to your client. And it's online because it's dynamic, it has a lot of graphics, I'll show it to you, a lot of information. And you get this checklist back. If you made a mistake, you can go through the checklist and do an update. Or top left corner is view report and get the link, okay? So you click that, another window comes up with the link. So there's the link. And there's a button to view the report, right? So I'm going to copy this link and paste it into an email. So I compose an email. I send it to my client, which is really myself. And it says home energy report in the subject line. I misspelled report. It says, um, Ben, here's your free home energy report. And I paste that link that I copied from the tool and I send it there. So how long did that take? Seven minutes. Well, that's about double uh, what it really takes because I've been talking to you. I want to see the report actually before I send it. So there's a little button here that says view the report in a new window. So you click that and the report actually pops up in a few seconds. Can you hear me okay? All right, there's the report. It pops up. It's really nice. This is the information that is perceived by your client as very valuable because no one has this information. No one can provide this type of information. So you have done a home inspection. You've identified the condition of the home, looking for material defects, things that can hurt people, or think like a roof leak, things that are going to destroy the property, have an adverse effect on the property. Now you're going to provide information that no one else has. 
and it's about how much this home costs to operate, heat, cool, and operate for your client moving in. Who cares about the utility bills? Don't let them show the utility bills. That don't mean anything. It's all about your client moving in, right? So this is the information. So you can ask your client, if you're down in the basement, hey, um, do you know how much this home, how much this heating system costs to operate every year? They're going to say no because nobody has this information, right? You are the only one. You're the resource. You're the expert with the expert tool. So um, this is the graphic. So it gives them a great idea of the cost of heating and cooling and operating the home, yearly costs. Um, there's the introductory paragraph. Every inspector has their ID card. I'm wearing mine today. So there's my ID card that I wear, and there it is in the report. Um, little introductory paragraph, a breakdown of the systems, and potential savings per year. I like this. So it's not just $500. So I'm saving my client in this report $1,500. Um, we had a few things. Uh, insulation and air leakage is the main one, I bet. We'll look at the recommendations soon. But I can tell my client I'm going to save them $1,500 every year because they hired me. Now, I'm charging $400 for my inspection, so the perceived value is much greater than they thought the cost was, right? See? So um, there's the heating section. You can scroll down. There's the cooling section. Um, under the cooling section, you have two free cooling guides, um, home energy, uh, how, to, how to save energy with your heating and cooling, and air leakage and air sealing. Um, and those are PDF downloads. Your client gets those two documents, those guides, for free through their report. And um, you can scroll by using the top button. So um, at the top here, you click small appliances, there's lighting, hot water, and then there's energy upgrades. And this is the one I like because we have a little graphic on the right telling you the estimated savings per recommendation. Um, and the total cost, estimated cost of the upgrade, and it's they're all upgrades. So you're not identifying um, defects or making improvements or repair recommendations or improvement recommendations or, or replacement recommendations. They're all upgrades. And as you know, um, your real estate agent knows that upgrades are not part of the negotiating. Upgrades are for a homeowner that has moved into the home. Now they can upgrade, right? So this report isn't something that's going to be a stumbling block to the closing, you can tell your real estate agent friend who's referring work to you. Rep priority one in the recommendations, replace all the light bulbs, right, with energy efficient ones. Um, priority two, programmable thermostat. Priority three, add insulation around your ducts. That's a good thing. Um, priority four, if you decide to replace your clothes washer in the future, pick an energy efficient one, right? Uh, priority five. Have a professional seal that cracks and air leaks le leakage in your home. That's good. Because when a home leaks, most homes, 80 million out of the 120 million homes, were built around the 80s. And that was pre -mo before modern energy codes. So most of the homes leak. And that means that there is air moving, conditioned air moving up through the home and leaking out through the roof, typically. Most of the air leakage is through the roof. That's why if you're ever in an attic and you see a lack of insulation, I used to do this, I put in my report, add insulation. No, because the insulation is just a big filter. Air moves through insulation, especially fiberglass. We call it filter glass. Air moves through the fiberglass. So just adding insulation is just thickening the air filter. What you need to do is seal off the air leaks because air leakage equals money leaking. Okay, so you have to seal up the cracks. Priority six, have a professional seal your ducts. If you have a high efficiency heating system, but it's stuck on an old ductwork system, um, that 90% high efficiency heating system can be bumped down to 65 because the ducts are leaking. And when a duct leaks, it loses energy. Air leakage is money, energy leakage is money leaking. Okay, priority seven, um, replacing your, when you replace your hot water, Heater. It's not saying replace it. It says when replacing your hot water heater, pick an energy efficient one. Priority eight, when you need to replace your furnace, pick an energy star one. Yep, that's a good one. Add insulation to the attic floor. Yep. Uh, priority 10, if you decide to replace your electric clothes dryer, pick a gas one. Very good. And that's it. 
So those are the energy upgrades. Um, in the top right corner, each client gets a free energy book. So you click that. And you go to an ebook, and it's a free ebook. Every client can access the this ebook, 31 chapter ebook about energy, about saving energy um, through their home energy report. So you're providing also, I think it's a 24,000 word book, a 31 chapter book uh, for free, and it's an ebook. Um, so if we go back to the summary, there it is. So not a bad report, pretty good. It's providing an incredible amount of value, and your cost is just about zip, about three minutes. So it's a pretty good business decision about producing a home energy report for every client and using that as a way to increase your fee. So again, if, if the perceived value is greater than the cost, then it's a good decision. Let's go to your website. What should you do to your website? Well, this is a just a recommendation. You don't have to follow these recommendations. It may not work for you, but if I was designing a website for my own ins inspection company, this is how I would do it. I would have a menu on my website, and this is on the left side of my website. Um, horizontal menus are good. Sometimes a horizontal menu will um, not be hierarchical. You're not sure which is most important. When it's on the left, then we kind of read things top down. So the most important part is the home page. Um, and if you click that, so all of these, there's a menu and all of these um, lines are links to pages of your website. So if you click home page, you go to a home page. And what's on your home page? Well, something that quickly identifies that you, that your visitor has found the website for their inspector, right? You have to identify quickly that you're a home inspector and you are a perfect match for your client, right? So get a picture of yourself. If you have gray hair, perfect, because a lot of people hire a home inspector who has gray hair. Um, get a picture of yourself in action. So we, uh, this is a great picture of an inspector checking out a skylight, and he has a checklist and a pen right there. Um, and a logo. A logo, if you're not quite sure that um, your company name um, conveys that you are an inspector, like ABC Inspections. Mm, what does ABC stand for? Well, the right inspector right away. That's pretty good. You want to convey that your visitor of your website has found the right inspector, and they can hire that inspector right away, right? Right inspector right away, and that's an internet sheet, registered trademark that you can use. And maybe some video testimonials. So you click that link, and um, social... Um, confirmation that you are a good inspector. Then have a bunch of logos down below, um, not too many. Uh, I've seen in, um, websites with like 20 certifications and that might be too many. So what you want is to select maybe half a dozen. And I love the $10,000 honor guarantee from InterNACHI. It's actual bond that InterNACHI provides for home inspectors. And the first thing on your web page, um, that is your home page, is the word welcome, so that when a visitor visits your site, they are welcomed by you. So put welcome on your home page. And then a button that says, have me call you. So this is free for from InterNACHI. Um, if you click that um, graphic of have me call you, um, it puts your clients, um, it, it makes a phone call to you and your client and connects you to almost immediately. We have over 300 people attending, so that's really good. Let's get back to the home page. And also, um, I've seen a lot of home pages. You only have a few seconds to grab hold of your clients, potential clients' attention, right? So don't have large paragraphs of information. Try to make it a bullet list. And this is what I would put down on my home page. I'd have all of these components, and I'd bullet list that I'm a certified master inspector. You can call me because it's really important. There's only one purpose. For a website there's a single purpose brutal purpose for a website right it's for that visitor to be convinced to call you and hire you so have a have me call you button and have a time that they can call you what if it's 9 30 at night mm, maybe that inspector doesn't answer the phone tell them that you answer the phone till 10 o'clock right seven days a week i'll take the phone call um 
if you are trying to brand yourself, figure out those unique characteristics that describe you, right? I have 10 years experience, over 2,000 inspections. First time home buyer friendly. Most of my clients are first time home buyers, so we have a first time home buyer logo that should be on your home page or somewhere to describe that, especially on your home page for those visitors that are first visiting your site. Um, and also, I include a free video, I include a free home energy report, I include a free home maintenance book, I free a uh, free home maintenance newsletter. You get the picture, right? So this is the home page. Let's go back. If a site visitor clicks full home inspections, they go to a web page, your web page, that describes what a full home inspection is, which is essentially the standards of practice. And below the standards of practice, have a link to the standards of practice. This is for a good legal reason because the standards of practice updates every once in a while. If you copy paste the standards of practice and it's 10 years old, there could be a problem, right? You're not probably inspecting to the current standards. So have a link. This would be the only time I would recommend a link going away from your website. All other links should come back to your website. You shouldn't have your visitors leave, but this link would be one exception. And a link to download a sample report. That's what you produce. You should give them a sample report to look at. What if a visitor clicks, includes a free home energy report? Look at all the things that I include, right? A full home, home inspection includes all this free stuff. This is incredible value. I've got to hire this inspector, right? And they do additional inspections like radon gas and WDO and energy and stuff, right? But let's say my site visitor clicks, includes a free home energy report. What should that have? This is what I want to get to. It should have this video. We have a one minute video. You embed this video. You can have the embed code. I'll show you where to go to get the embed code. You embed it right there. And it's a one minute video. It's very sticky. They're going to play that video. And in one minute, they'll get an idea of what you have to offer, right? So let's go see what that video is. Let me, let me play it for you if you haven't seen it already. It takes a lot of energy to heat, cool, and operate a home. Most home buyers purchase a home without first understanding what it will cost to operate it once they move in. Most Americans spend $2,500 a year on utilities, including heating and cooling costs. Many homeowners can reduce their utility bills by up to 30% sizable savings from energy improvements. With every home inspection, we include a free home energy report, which will give you a quick understanding of how much your home will cost to operate once you move in, where energy, and therefore money, is being wasted in the home, and what can be done to save energy and increase your family's comfort. The free home energy book is included with your energy report. This companion ebook describes additional ways to save energy, increase comfort, and protect the environment. Our home inspectors are also certified home energy inspectors. Call now and schedule your inspection today. So that's a video that's um, free to use to promote what you do, that home energy report, right? And this one is tweaked a little bit. It, it says that you provide it for free. So this would be a video. If you're gonna provide it for free, this is the video to, to um, embed on that site. So when they click home energy report, free home energy report included with their home inspection, what's that? Click, bam, a web page with this video. You also need logos to show that you are certified, right? I'm a certified home energy inspector, certified by Interiachi, or a logo that says a home energy report is included with every inspection. I kind of like that one. It's up to you. You can get those logos at natchiorg slash home energy inspection, and I'll go to that page to show you. So um, if you want words on that web page, remember they click um, below home, full home inspection, they click includes a free home energy report. They click that. They see the video. They have a logo to look at. You're certified or it's included. Now you want some text. Here's where you get the text. We wrote consumer-oriented words for you to copy and paste into that web page, into your web page. It's about home energy reports, and it's at located at natcha.org slash energy. That's pretty easy to remember. At natcha.org slash home energy inspection, that link, 
these are important links. I know they're kind of long URLs, but um, once you get the hang of it, you'll know where to go. And if you don't know where to go, just email me. I'll, I'll send it to you. We developed really nice, professional-looking, full-color brochures that you can download for free as PDFs, take it to your printer, and have them printed for you. I wouldn't do that. What I would do is I would order customized ones from InterNACHI Print Services. Same flyer, right? And you can customize it with your information. So we have a space back here. You can put your business logo. You can brand it with your business logo, name, contact information. Or maybe um, I have some inspectors who have a blank line, and they write um, a discounted price. And they hand this to their client during the home inspection to say, hey, while I'm here, why don't you hire me to do a home energy inspection for you? I'll write a, uh, write a really nice report for you. But um, while I'm doing the roof, here, take a look at this. And while I'm here, maybe you can um, decide whether or not you would like that information. And while I'm here, um, you know, while I'm here, while I'm here, I can, it's normally uh, $100. I'll do it for $50. And you write a little line. So you can customize these. And um, we'll print them for you. Um, you get... You order it, and then you get a, um, a, a one of the staff members to design and customize the flyer for you. And then within seven days, you have these delivered at your door at a price that you can't beat. So it's excellent, excellent service. And there's two uh, flyers. And also, this is the um, Home Energy book, too. It's a really nice Home Energy book with a lot of graphics inside. And every chapter ha helps you reduce your liability because – Every chapter refers to the standards of practice. So it's broken down into chapters, and every chapter has a standards of practice right there according to the standards of practice. So we're helping um, set the expectations of your clients. And it's also about um, saving energy, too. How a home works, how to keep it maintained, and how to save energy. And the perceived value of this book is far greater than the cost. If you're a little weak on energy movement and air leakage and how to seal docks, um, we have free online training through InterNACHI for our members, right? And it's at nachi.org. There's a URL, Home Energy Inspection. And you can take the on online training and get kind of uh, up to speed on that. So there's the main URL I would like you to remember. It's nachi.org slash home hyphen energy hyphen inspection. And we should probably. We should probably just go to that. So let's just go to this. Oh, then we're here already. Natchez.org slash home energy inspection. And it looks like this. So you can start your report at the top, right? Start a home energy report. Um, there's a little video of me doing a home, um, home energy report in less than four minutes. That's typical. Here's on the left side, um, free training, right? You click that link and you go to some online courses. That we have available or you can go to the free marketing button you click that and you get another video about how to update your website to increase your fees and it, there's the embed code for that video that short one minute video that your client should see there's the logos several different kind there's jpegs and um, pngs um, and here's the brochures that you can download themselves there's the pdfs right here and also, um, here's the link to go to InterNACHI Print Services. And you go there and you order your customized brochures, and it's three easy steps. The first step is you order the brochure. Second step is you're going to work with um, one of InterNACHI's staff, and they will help you customize the brochure. And the third step is in about seven days, you'll receive your customized brochure. So let's go back. Uh, scroll down even more. There's some text you can copy paste. Um, here's my brother, Nick Ramico, founder of InterNACHI, for a minute, telling you how amazing this tool is. Frequently asked questions. Here's a checklist. If you want paper and pencil kind of thing, figure out um, what you need to do to collect the appropriate information. Uh, here's a little tutorial. We have a standards of practice that is in draft mode. We are waiting for a complete um, feedback from other inspectors and from legal counsel. Um, there's um, addendum agreement, same thing, where we are having the legal counsel draw up an addendum agreement. 
and um, some other information and other webinars. So that's that URL. Now I've gotten a lot of inspectors to ask me when I go around the country to present and do these webinars, what if someone calls me up and says, how much do you charge? Well, I would love to know if they visited my website or is this just out of the blue cold calling? Because um, what I would do is um, not hesitate to tell them that I know someone, if you're price shopping, who can do a much cheaper inspection. In fact, here's his or her name and their phone number. And you're probably going to get what you pay for. But here's what you do. But I charge this price, or maybe don't tell them quite yet. But here's why I charge so much. And here's what you, the value you're going to get. And I would refer back to all of the things that are on my homepage, right? Um, here's me in action. I'm the right inspector right away. Here's some video testimonials. Here's my certifications, $10,000 honor guarantee. I'm friendly to first-time home buyers. Um, I'm a certified master inspector. And I go through all of my things that I provide, and especially the stuff that I provide for free, like home energy reports. By the time I'm done with that person on the phone, they're not thinking about getting a cheap inspection or even thinking about trying to um, get a reduced price for a service that is so valuable to them. They're just going to hire me. So if someone calls up asking for how much do you charge, well, I think about all the things that my website has on my homepage, and I just list them. You should have a script for that question rehearsed so that when you pick up your phone, when somebody clicks have me call you, you're going to get that phone call. How much do you charge? Well, maybe they haven't seen your website, right? Think about all the information on your homepage and just rattle it off in a script. You should have it rehearsed. And a home energy report is probably one of the things that will push them over to hiring you because it provides incredible value and it costs you nothing to do, right? I wanted to take a couple minutes to go over. Um, everybody is still with us. So everybody who's registered, logged on is still with us, I can see. There's hardly anybody has left, although there is a football game on. Um, I want to take out some websites here. I hope no one gets offended, but I think I know everybody that I'm going to pick on. And I'm going to pick on a couple websites. I just grabbed a couple people at random who are registered uh, to attend. I'm not even sure if you're listening, but I wanted to go over some websites. Um, this is something that my brother is very good at, and um, we kind of do this all day long at Internet Chief because we develop at inspectorpages.com. We develop professional inspector websites. So um, here is a great website. I love this website. looks really good. It's got a really cool graphic with the eye thing. Um, every page, no matter where I go, has the phone number at the top right corner because the whole purpose of a website is to call, right? So I'm looking for, um, looking for, I love this home, right? I love the welcome word is missing, so I would put welcome on the home page. And qualifications is really good, but maybe that should be third or fourth. I want our services. I guess that's what I want. I'm looking for a home inspector, so I'm not quite sure what our services mean. So our services. Our services include inspection of the following. The grammar is not right. So our services include, so it's foundation inspections, grading and draining inspections, roof inspections. No, I think this describes what a full home inspection is supposed to be. So maybe over here, right, full home inspection. And underneath it, you include what's down here, wood destroying insects, gas lines, septic systems. And don't forget about energy, right? So I would go back up here and change this to full home inspections. And then on this page, what does a full home inspection include? The standards of practice. Have a link to the standards of practice. Download a sample report. And then get another page, a sub page, if you can, of your additional inspections, right? Because it's nothing here. I don't see any additional inspections and nothing about, oh, there's infrared inspections. Infrared inspections. And there's no infrared picture. So here's a couple of things. I want you in action right, especially with the infrared camera on your home page, and then services should be full home inspections, and then describe to me your additional inspections, which should include a free home energy report, or could include, just my opinion. Um, how about this one? And I really haven't practiced on these. 
I just made sure the links work. This is nice, okay? Only because I see the information that we just went over. So, um, but I think it's in the wrong place. Typical home inspection. There's the link for a typical home inspection at the top right. And I kind of like this, first time home buyer friendly, gives you this um, um, bullet point, two column bullet point list. Uh, the graphic doesn't really help me very much. I'd, I'd rather see you in action instead of this house cut out, right? What really matters is really cool, although we have that as a video. Um, we have Paige Peters, and it's a one minute video, and she describes that. And it's on YouTube, you can embed it, um, it's free. But um, your homepage, I would say, um, shouldn't have all this energy stuff. Save your hard-earned money, home energy report available with every home. I know what you're saying. Ask about it, and it's not a link, right? Even though it's, there's an underline, it's not a link, and this isn't a link. So what I would do, again, is a typical home inspection. I wouldn't call your service a typical right? It's the best home inspection. So a full home inspection, a complete home inspection, your home inspection, um, my home inspection service. So click that and then it gets to your home inspection. But I would add another one in between here about energy, right? Because this is going to drive you, your client to call you. So put something in between here about energy and move this energy information you have on your homepage to that page. So you need an energy page. You need a home energy page, right? Uh, safe investment. Let's try another website. Oh, I, I see. Yeah, this is the one I really like. I really enjoy looking at this website because everything is above the fold. I kind of like that, even though there's additional stuff below the fold. Um, phone number is right there. There's action shots. And they change according to what page you're on, and they flip. Um, I love the we take credit cards thing. A lot of words. I don't write a lot of words on my homepage. I kind of like the word welcome and a bullet point of who I am. I like the have me call you button. It should be a lot bigger because that is the most important thing about the, my website. And then maybe too many icons. I see the energy one. But services, that's good. But I see that there is no energy. There's thermal imaging, but there's no home energy report. Or maybe it's under home inspection services. Home, it should be full home inspection, right? Get me to go there. And what happens when I click that? Nice. That's an action shot. Maybe a caption describing what you're actually doing. Um, the tool is a little small, and I'm not sure if they understand that you are taking a, like a temperature of the, of the register, all right? Um, so I would do maybe a bullet point, less words. There's a lot of really important real estate on the right side that means nothing to me. I need an inspection. Why are you asking me if I need an inspection? That's why I'm here at your website. Of course I need an inspection. Um, so the have me call you button should be probably bigger. And um, I would say, what do you include with your home inspection? Right, Your full home inspection includes this, that, infrared pictures, a home maintenance book, a free home energy report that's going to save you 500 bucks every year. I think you get the picture. Well, how about one more? Because we've been 45 minutes now and haven't gotten to any of your questions. I see some really good questions. Um, this one is a good example of not using good pictures. Um, unless you're a home inspector who inspects seagulls by the ocean, um, backyards, and palm trees, right? I want to see action shots. Of the inspector that's what I'm hiring I want to hire a home inspector give me that picture I want a, that gray-haired balding older gentleman with a lot of tools in action not a seagull right so I want this is where I want to go on vacation actually but I'm 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 a first-time home buyer trying to find the right inspector for me and the most important thing I would say is certified master inspector Steven now I would make that logo really big take a big portion of that home page and make it a huge golden certified master inspector and tell me why I'm a, tell me why you're a master inspector that's beautiful the ten thousand dollar honor guarantee is awesome but just real quick now you got the videos but it's at the very bottom no one's going to read that or watch that 
um, everything's kind of like the same size and importance. But the most important thing is probably the certified master inspector and the verification logo. And I'm looking for I do a home inspection. This is higher than this one. Links, I'd get rid of that. It doesn't work. It's a button, so I'm trying to click it. What every homeowner should know about the electrical system, uh, inspection fees. I, I wouldn't start off. I'd start off with full home inspection. Describe what you do to me. All right? Do for me. All right, so um, here's a couple of questions. What about CAS test? Andrew asks. Um, right. This is a non-visual inspection of a home. I mean, a, a visual-only inspection of a home. Non-diagnostic. Okay? Non-diagnostic. We're, we are working within the standards of practice of a home inspector. It's visual only, non-diagnostic. It's like getting both of your hands and tying them behind your back and doing an inspection. You can still do a home inspection and still do a home energy report with both hands tied behind your back, right? So there's no CAS testing. Um, the, the report itself, as you saw, possibly saw, you can go through a home energy report. It recommends getting a more comprehensive home energy audit for work being done. Because think of if you're an energy auditor, and I think some of you are, um, think of the home inspector doing a home energy report as a lead generation, right? We are educating homeowners at the point of sale so that when they move in, they do energy improvements or upgrades. And if you're going to do work on a home that does energy upgrades, you need an energy audit to identify the stuff the air leakage especially, and you do the work, and then you need another energy audit to come in to see if um, it's safe, because when you seal up a home, the combustion appliances do crazy things. This is way upstream from that. That's downstream. A home inspector at the point of sale is just educating using non-diagnostic, visual-only inspection techniques. This tool is designed for the home inspector, not for the energy auditor. Do you have an app? Um, no, we don't have an app. I think we're developing one, but you really don't need one because um, you can go on, you can use your iPhone. See the, the home energy report works on an iPhone. And so this is a report that I did, right? And you click that little button and you can, um, don't tweet it, don't text it. You can email it, right? And so you email it to your client, bam. So you know, while I'm walking towards my truck and my home inspection just finished behind me, I could do, 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 do on my iPhone and email a report out. So you can do it with a mobile device. And this is um, iPhone, tablet, Droid, anything mobile. Um, is the home energy tool calibrated for Canadian postal codes? No, it doesn't work in Canada. Um, I apologize if you received an email inviting you to this webinar because I tried to filter out Canadians. This tool is for U.S. housing stock only. What's the liability of providing a free home energy report? Uh, there's no liability in providing anything free, I guess. I don't know. Um, I guess there's a – there's um, but get legal advice on this. But um, I think you're asking about um, your – your uh, responsibility of the content of the information. I would make sure I set my client's expectations. They understand what the home energy inspection and report is all about. That's why we have a standards of practice and we have an online agreement system and we have flyers and marketing pieces and video. All of that describes what I'm doing. There's a heck of a lot more um, a liability doing a home inspection, right? Um, the home energy report actually isn't even written by you. It's written by the Department of Energy, Energy Calculator. So the recommendations come from the Department of Energy. So um, you are just transferring information from that lab to your client through the energy tool that we developed. So make sure you use an online agreement, standards of practice, which doesn't go beyond the home inspection standards of practice. So if you're comfortable with the home inspection standards of practice, that's your area. We don't ask you to go beyond that. What is the accuracy of this report? We have that um, um, from the Department of Energy. They um, did a pilot with um, three, um, rem, uh, three energy audit softwares, Remrate, HESS, and this SCORE um, software. And um, the other ones either 
um, overestimated the cost or underestimated the cost, one fell right in the middle. And there is a 1% degree of um, error, 1%. So it's only off by a little bit. So it's very accurate. Um, let's see, William, can we measure ceiling height? Um, right, just eyeball it, right? Just kind of like eyeballing the square footage of the windows. You're eyeballing this, the ceiling height. You know, um, this is seven foot. Um, I'm in CA and some of these recommendations wouldn't meet our code. Is the re report amendable? Um, send me feedback. We love feedback. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I know that there's an energy audit um, regulation, um, an energy code in California. Um, so is there in uh, Boulder County, especially in Colorado. And um, we would love your feedback and we can customize the report um, to your state or even your county down to the zip code. That's what we do in Colorado. Um, the report actually adapts to the zip code. That's why the first thing that you enter is the zip code. Um, is Ben, is there a sample available to show clients on the site? Um, no, you have to produce the report and there's no cost. So go into your account, produce a report, copy the link, put that link on your website and title the link sample home energy report. There you go. You don't want to see my face on your home energy report. You have to go into your account, generate a home energy report and put that link on your website. Do I have to have an infrared camera to provide this? No, this is a non-diagnostic, visual only inspection with no specialized tools, right? You're just doing what you've always done. You're doing a home inspection, putting the data back into the tool, an engineer tool and producing a report. Um, no blower door, no infrared is needed. Who does the InterNACHI certification? Um, InterNACHI is the largest training and accreditation organization for property inspectors on the plant. InterNACHI does the certification through our training. Um, oh, uh, Kathleen wants me to look at her website. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe in just, I want to make sure everyone gets their questions in. Um, I'm just setting up an inspector pages website now. Uh, yeah, I'll help you. Uh, we also have about six people. Um, they're young, they're tattooed, they're very creative, and they do professionally designed logos too. So they'll not only design your website and marketing pieces, uh, like your color brochure, but they'll also design your logo and work with you to customize things. And um, take your time, work with that person, and if there are any problems, you can um, email me. Uh, would you please look at my website? Uh, you know, I will, I will, but not during the website. How much does this cost? Nothing, right? We, um, you can produce as many sample and hypothetical reports as, as you want. Um, everyone has an unlimited amount of free report generation in their accounts. So just generate the accounts. Um, I believe there might be a, a fee of a couple dollars in the future or 99 cents per report, but um, not in any time in the near future. And that is because um, InterNACHI is being charged um, for every report generation. It costs the calculator. But um, that transfer of fees is not going to be anywhere in the near future. And that is actually described in your account if you click the credits um, link. Um, I can send you a presentation. Do you get certified for home energy inspections at the NACHI site? Yeah, through the training. Um, you can email me. I'll, I'll point you in the right direction to get the training and certification. But um, as an InterNACHI certified home inspector, you are already qualified to produce a home energy report. You don't need to be BPI certified. That's an energy auditor certification or ResNet certified. That's a new homes certification. If you're a home inspector, you can do a home energy report because you're within the standards of practice of a home inspection. Right? Um, many, many questions. Can I print a hard copy of the audit? Well, it's not an energy audit for, for one thing. It's a, an energy inspection. An energy audit um, conveys um, specialized tools like a blower door and infrared. So we don't want to use audit and it doesn't go very over very well with consumers. Nobody wants to be audited, right? Um, especially on their home. 
So we use the word inspection and um, we've identified what a home energy inspection and a home energy report is. We have it trademarked, federally trademarked, and um, it is a non-diagnostic visual inspection. So the, getting back, hard copy, printing a hard copy of the inspection report. No, it, we can't do a hard copy because the information is di dynamic, right? It changes according to um, the energy calculator. So the energy calculator is actually pushing back and forth all this data that you're sending it and it's calculating it and it spits out a report and it's got to be online because the information is dynamic. Um, could be in a certain area, um, a, um, a local, like in Boulder County, we have um, a relationship in Colorado with the governor's energy office where your client can receive um, free light bulbs, shower heads, and um, faucet aerators and pipe insulation and a personal advisor um, all for free. Let's, that's like a $250 service all for free if you are in the right zip code. And that information is dynamic. So it has to connect to things like that. If it was a, a static PDF, nobody would take action. So you are educating your homeowner client about taking action and saving money by saving energy but we know that a home inspection report um, is useless if there isn't anyone to describe what it means. And an energy report similarly um, is useless if it's a static report that doesn't have any um, support behind it. If you're not explaining it or if it's not online and it's not moving around and being dynamic, you know, your your client can go on to a home energy report that you generate and click around. You know, they can go to the EPA, the DOE, uh, do some searching and investigating on their own, do some research and find contractors to do work and um, price shop and things like that and figure out how much energy they can save and do some budgeting. It's an amazing tool. If it was a static PDF, nobody would, everybody would just throw it away and wouldn't do anything. Um, gotta go. Okay. A few people saying, gotta go, gotta go. Um, how accurate should I be on info that I input? Well, um, the more accurate you are, the more accurate the home energy report will be, right? So garbage in, garbage out. If you're more accurate, like if, if the tool generates default information, like when the house was built, remember 1975 and I changed it to 1985. I knew that the house was built in 1985. The tool kind of helps you generate a report quickly by putting in some defaults. Those defaults are estimates. So if you know something more accurate, like if you know the BTUs of the heating system, you can put that in, you know? So, and if you have an energy audit report and you know the, the CFM 50, the, you know, how much the air leaks because you have an energy auditor with a blower door right next to you, you can type that information in and it'll be more accurate. But um, um, it's accurate with the tool, um, with the defaults. So it's designed for a quick, quick generation of a home energy report. Um, there are 180 people still listening. So I'm gonna keep going. It's been one hour. Um, if you wanna leave, go ahead and leave. I'm gonna answer questions. You can email me with questions. You can email me for the slides and the recording. Um, it takes me a, a, about a day or two to do a, a webinar recording um, that you can see for um, yourself. And um, so if you want to leave, thank you so much for attending the webinar. It's been an hour. Thank you so much. I hope you can use some of the information in here to increase your fees. That's the whole goal. Provide value to increase your fees. Okay. And I'm going to keep going with some questions. You like to hang in there is there a charge no there's no charge um no questions tonight all right robert i'll talk to you later how long is the link for each home energy inspection report active for good one daniel um as long as you are an internet member because it's you have to log in with your username and password and um uh, we will we, we are required to store it forever on our service on our server so we'll have it if you um, lose it in your account, if there's a technical problem, we have backup upon backup on our servers, you know. 
So um, we'll always have that data and we'll always have the report if you need it. What happens to the data sent for, en for energy report? I don't know um, exactly what you mean, Ron, but there is a communicate. That's why it's online. Everything's online. Um, this tool communicates between you and the energy calculator, the DOE Berkeley Lab, back and forth. It's amazing. It's always looking at your data entering, and it's recalculating as you go. And at the very end, it spits out a report for you. So there's a lot of information back and forth. And there's a, a privacy link um, on the front page. The DOE has a privacy, you know, it's public policy. Um, this information is um, private. It's, it's your report. Uh, let's see, how do you account for multiple HVAC units? Um, there's a little help menu, menu, a little question mark help menu um, on every section. And if you click that, it'll tell you what to do. But it's basically you add them up. Um, even for hot water sources, you add up the gallons. Um, for um, HVAC units, you add up the BTUs, right? And it calculates, kind of does a division, the square footage divided by BTU kind of thing. Um, I'm not the scientist, but you add up the BTUs of the heating systems. It's all about BTUs. Uh, is there a recommend, recommended minimum standard for the IR cameras for home inspection? We have... Um, building science and infrared thermography training. We have infrared certified. Um, this, if you're if you're holding an infrared camera, you should go here. Natchez.org slash IR. I think that's it. Yep. So infrared. Here we go. Infrared certified. So it's Natchez.org slash IR. Again, if you want to leave, um, now there's 140 um, people still attending. Great. I'll stay for maybe another 20 minutes or so doing questions. Um, I can go on and on. Um, but if you uh, if you got information that was valuable to you, that makes my night. Um, try to grab as much information that we have available to you for free, especially the brochures and uh, the logos and the website stuff and the video. That's a really good one. And try to organize your website so that a visitor is directed towards that particular type of information that causes them to call you because that's the single purpose of a website and you have to provide information that shows incredible value if the value perceived by your client is extraordinary they're going to hire you they won't ask how much do you charge they'll see all this great valuable information especially stuff that no one can provide only you through this home energy report can provide this kind of information how much does a how much I would, if I was in front of the heating system, I would turn around to my client and I would say, do you know how much this heating system is going to cost you to operate after you move in? And they'll be like, uh, no. And I know that they're going to say no because no one has this information. I said, well, while I'm here, while I'm here, consider hiring me to do a home energy inspection while I'm here. It only taking me a few more minutes to do um, while I'm doing a home inspection. My home inspection is about two or three hours. Add another 15, 20 more minutes. And um, here's some information. Here's a brochure. Why don't you read that while I'm inspecting the heating and cooling system? And um, maybe we can talk later on when we're in the living room about um, home energy report. So this is an awesome flyer. It helps you communicate. You know, while I'm here, hey, you know, while I'm here, let me find some more information for you. Hire me. Infrared um, logo. It's a, actually a federal trademark. So it's really, it's really unique. Um, I do not see an editable brochure. No, only a PDF copy. Right. So you have to go to print services. There's a link if you want to customize that PDF. And we'll do that for you. Um, all right, Stephen. See you later. I am a student member, but I'm I'm a certified I'm a certified home. Can I still produce? I think you're asking if you're a member, if you have a username and password, uh, you have access to the home energy tool. Um, a lot of people are saying thanks and going by. All right. See you, Richie. See you, Julie. Um, sorry, Dan. Uh, thanks, Tom. All right, everybody. Uh, looks like we're, we're, we have 112 people um, still listening, but a lot of people are leaving. Um, we lost about 200 people. So 
what if I just scan the questions and if there's anything that jumps out, um, a geo, a geothermal system, right? This is this tool is for a quick entry and quick understanding of the typical. Um, this is for a typical home in the United States. If you have solar panels and a geothermal and um, tankless water heaters and um, hay bales for walls, this this reporting tool isn't designed for that. It'll still work. I would generate one, but um, I would have no problems generating a report for every property um, that I inspect. But it's not for the atypical stuff, especially the stuff that is beyond the building envelope, right? Outside the siding or on top of the roof, right? If you got a solar panel, this doesn't calculate that kind of stuff. It's for the general home that you inspect. And most of the homes that we inspect, existing homes, are built before modern energy codes. So they leak air and they have inefficiencies that need to be identified. Um, if we do this as a standalone service, what would be a fair price? Bah, that's the $2 million question, right? I don't know. I don't know. That's why it's maybe a good idea to include it for free and bump up your price. So if I was doing a $250 home inspection and did a home energy report for free, a free home maintenance book and um, a free home maintenance newsletter, homeowner newsletter, let's say, um, we provide that through energy too, um, I would bump up the price of my home inspection. And I wouldn't worry about it. I would be totally confident that I am providing enough value to um, bump up my fee. Nobody would even know. Unless you have a lot of repeat customers. I, I doubt that you do. So everyone's a new clean slate. You have to convince that new person who just found you on the internet. Because that's where all homeowners are. Home buyers are. They're online in one convenient place. Online looking for homes real estate agents, banks, and home inspectors. All right, Martin, thank you. Michael, thank you very much. I feel like I'm drinking from a fire hose. <laughs> I only have 30 minutes to provide a ton of information. Don't get me on the phone. Um, thank you very much, Jeff. All right, everyone's, everyone's saying goodbye, so I'm going to say goodbye to you. Uh, we have over we have 101 people still attending. So thank you so much for hanging in there. Um, I'm very passionate that you can increase your fees by providing home energy reports to your client. So use this information and start generating home energy reports for every client. You can retroactive. I I this Friday I'd go back to all of my previous clients in the week, generate a home energy report form and send it to them and ask them for their opinion. If they have positive feed, if you get positive feedback, you've got something. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work. There's no, no investment. You lose nothing for trying. So um, if you have any problems, just give me a call or an email because usually um, I can't send a link uh, through my phone. Uh, so give me an email and I'll uh, help you that way. I thank you very much for attending. Um, if you have any questions, again, I'm available, and um, I hope you uh, have enough information to increase your fees. Goodbye, everybody.